Hey guys, it's Lisa. I know you're at a weird angle, but you're on just like this little camera arm I have. So if I hit the table and you move a little bit, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> so I ordered some pressed flowers from this company called Nature's Press. Now I ordered these, I paid for them, so um, I just thought that they came packaged so professionally that I wanted to share this with you guys in case you are struggling with <laughs> drying flowers out like I am. I dried some flowers out <laughs> and I disintegrated them. I mean, I used that um, silica gel. Anyway, when I pulled it out, it just like fell all apart. So I wanted to do some stuff with some real flowers, like some coasters or some trays or something. So I found this company. It is called Nature's Pressed. And I'll show you some. And they weren't, they were pretty reasonable. You know, when you figure the actual cost of the flower and then the time it takes to dry them out and press them and all that stuff. So they take that worry and <laughs> problem out of the way. But these are some Cosmos. There are 10 in this pack. But uh, see how beautifully pressed they are? I haven't opened them up. Um, this one particularly. Um, and they weren't priced horribly expensive. Like I said, um, when you figure the flowers and the time and all that stuff. Uh, let me look on the list. These are Cosmos. There's 10 of them. And they were uh, six fifty-three. Um, the most expensive one out of the set that I have are these red flea banes. They must be a more expensive flower or something. I don't know. But these were eleven dollars. But there's a hundred of them. Aren't they pretty? And then there's 25 mini roses in here. Then I got some ferns, and there are 16 ferns in here. Uh, ferns were $5.53. The roses roses were $5.49 for 25 roses. Then these are purple lockspur. There's 25 in there. Um, and they were $4.53. So $4.53 for 25 flowers that are already pressed, dried out. Then this is heather. I thought these would be really cool to put like in resin pieces or I mean you can use them for scrapbooking or whatever and I got some fall leaves which yes I know fall leaves are easy to press but I went looking for some leaves to do and um because I have a lot of trees around here but they were all like chewed up from bugs or whatever. These are like perfect little maple leaves. And there's 16 in each one for $5.53. Um, this is Queen, Queen's Anne Lace. And there's 20 little sprigs in here. These are little yellow daisies, and there's 25 in here. 25 daisies, 
and then there's 25 assorted daisies also for 553. Aren't they like perfect? Look how perfect they are. Let's open one. I actually haven't even opened one yet. Oh, static. Let's see these. I mean, they are really, whoops. Look at that. I mean, they are really pressed. Come on, focus, okay. And there's 25 in this pack. So cool. So I'm going to do a video of these. Oh, and they sent a free gift with my order. These are like, they're real flowers. But they are like little stickers that are laminated. That one's a little bit thick, it's popping up. But they're laminated little stickers with real flowers in them. And there's a three little clover there, a three leaf clover. So cute. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. If you guys are interested and you are struggling with pressing and drying out flowers, go check them out. Um, I believe it is Nature's, look here, there's probably a website, naturespressed.com. So, yeah. So those are cool. Also, in the mail, I received a gift, and I am so excited to use them. Putting this away. You guys bouncing? Are you bouncing with me here? <laughs> but I received a gift from Laura Usher at Laura's Art Corner of some glitter. And these glow-in-the-dark stars, I mean, I don't know if I can do this. I mean, it's light in here, and they're already glowing. Um, I don't know how I can show you. Can you see them? Is it showing? It's showing a little bit, huh? Imagine if it was super dark. They glow very well. And these are opalescent glitter powders. They're super duper fine. And super duper gorgeous. I love holographic glitter. I love glitter. <laughs> but this is this opalescent silver glitter powder. See that? So pretty. That's that one. And then a blue opalescent glitter powder. Look at how holographic that is. And then a black one. I don't have very much black glitter, so this. Is 
is crazy cool. I wish I could get a better light, but when my camera is turned this way, I can't. And then the pink one. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. It was such an unexpected surprise. Thank you so much, Laura. And if you guys are looking for glitter or little rocks or baubles or also any Lorez products, um, pastes, powders, she's got like, oh, I pressed on the table again. It's shaking. I'm sorry. This is a horrible arm. I need to attach it to something that's not going to move. Um, yeah, but all kinds of uh, stuff. She's got like gemstones. All kinds of stuff in her store. Um, look her up, Laura's Art Corner, on Facebook. And uh, she also sells um, the stuff for Lorez. So thank you so much, Laura. This was just brightened my whole day. And uh, I appreciate it so very much. So um, thanks, guys. And then uh, if you're interested in these, go check them out too. Like I said, I don't have any affiliation with these guys. I just thought it was a super cool idea. I was really worried about how they were going to ship, and they are absolutely perfect. So, um, all right. So this video is either going to be like on a clip of random videos, or it's going to be an intro to another video. Not sure yet, but uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for joining me.